At OXO, we have a lot of needs for prototyping um, soft parts for seals, and we often need to iterate quickly through a lot of different seal designs. So we developed this process to uh, make real silicone parts uh, very quickly. We 3D print molds on the Form 2 3D printer, and uh, we cast um, silicone inside the mold. Uh, and uh, the type of silicone we use, we think, is kind of the cool part. Um, we use this, this silicone that's designed for rapid jewelry prototyping molds. Um, and rather than being like a pourable consistency, it's like a modeling clay consistency. So it, it cures very quickly and we don't need as much time as uh, you would for pourable silicone. So the first step is to take the geometry that you want to make and build a box around it in CAD and then decide on some parting lines where you'll have your mold come apart. And then uh, the material doesn't shrink and you don't require any draft, so you don't really need to do any prep beyond that to your parts. And uh, then 3D print your mold. Um, we like to use tough resin or gray resin, but really any of the, the rigid resins work fine. Um, so next, you'll give the mold a little hit of mold release to make sure that the silicone doesn't stick to the mold. And the silicone is mixed by volume, so you don't need to be super particular about exactly how much you're using. You just want like approximately the same amount of each. And uh, it's like an epoxy, so when both parts come together, um, it begins a chemical reaction that cures the material. So what's special about this material is also what makes it a little bit difficult to work with. So since I'm gonna have my part ready in about 20 minutes, the curing process really begins after about two minutes. So once I start mixing, I'm committed and I need to go pretty fast. So you're looking for a nice, even green color. And then you're gonna kind of pack it into your mold a little bit, preliminary. And then push the mold together. And uh, when I'm in a real shop, I like to use a bench vise for this step. You're just gonna take your mold and put it in some kind of clamping situation and clamp real hard and you're gonna see all this excess silicone spilling out around the sides. And this is just, the mold is squeezing together really hard so the only part that's gonna be left is the negative space and that's where our part is going to appear. So you're gonna let that sit for about 20 minutes and when you're done, you'll get a part that looks like this. Um, so this is just like an end use silicone part that uh, has all the properties that you look for in silicone. So it doesn't take a set, it's very temperature resistant um, and has very good sealing properties. This is, uh, this is the product it goes on, it's a cocktail shaker. Um, and we just have these silicone seals so it doesn't leak while you're using it. And as an example, this is the, uh, that's the prototype part. And this is what the same part looks like in production. Um, so they are pretty much the same, just a different color.